Professor David Goodman. REAP stands for the Research Entrepreneurship Acceleration Program. It's a Faculty of Arts initiative, but it's open to all students from all faculties. And what makes this very attractive to students is that they're paid to research the new technologies, play with the new technologies, try out ideas, and then bring them to market with our partners. All the kiosks that you've ever walked by, all the museums that you've ever visited, the airports, train stations, public buildings, and of course retail spaces have tens of thousands if not millions of LCD monitors showing information. Almost all of them are passive. They're basically just televisions. What we're trying to do is create interactive environments, ones that anticipate what you want. For example, you walk into a um, let's say a train station and you're looking at a particular schedule, it can see that you're looking at that particular schedule and gives you more information about what you're interested in. What we're trying to do is not invent but in innovate. Take what already exists and then configure it in new ways to meet emerging needs. The reason why we're so keen on innovation is that first of all, uh, it's faster than invention. Secondly, traditionally the arts faculty has not really been able to play in and be an equal partner within the uh, innovation and, and invention space because if you have to make something from scratch, it's likely to be a more engineering computer science kind of space. So in an in, in a innovation space, arts, uh, architecture can play a much larger role and can you know, take a leadership position often in developing the new ideas. In a nutshell, you have various companies uh, in the tech industry, mainly from uh, Kitchener and Waterloo, that provide students with real world problems that the companies are currently facing, and the students provide solutions to these problems. Now the funding generated from these solutions is funneled back into REAP, creating a self-driven ecosystem of uh, technology. So this is the MRI, which stands for the Mixed Reality Interface. It's a machine that uses real-world objects as input and it gives real-world, it gives a real-time output for users. I can put this object on it and I'll be able to move around the house in real time. This term, we're going to build a technology for design centers so that users could come to these design centers and in real time they would be able to interact with the homes they're potentially going to buy. I think my REAP experience will go as far as I would hope for it to go. I think there's a lot of opportunity here and um, you know the sky is the limit.